Hello Leo, Sun Rising and Venus and welcome to your reading. So Leo, today we're going to go over your overall energy as well as your person's overall energy. Just keep in mind that the roles can be reversed. Also keep in mind time is fluid. So this could either currently be happening or maybe happening at a later date. How does Leo currently view this relationship? <clears throat> okay. All right. So we have the nine of swords. We have the eight of swords. And then we also have the world. You know, the first thing that came to my mind is you know exactly what you need to do. You know exactly what you need to do to get yourself out of the situation you currently find yourself in. You know exactly what you need to do. You know, there's an overall energy, Leo, of like you feeling, of you feeling trapped in a situation that you clearly don't want to be in, that you clearly don't want to be in. You know the way out. That's the thing. It's like you know the way out. You know the way out. I just feel like it would require you to do something that you're way too afraid to do right now. And to be honest, if this has everything to do with like a marriage that you feel extremely trapped and confined in um, or a relationship that you feel very trapped and confined in, um, I feel like, I feel like you're too afraid to leave because you don't necessarily know what your life is going to look like if you do, you know what I mean? Like, is it going to get better or is it going to get worse than this? You know what I mean? Hmm. Tell me more about the Eight of Swords. Yeah, for some of you, you could be married. Could be married. Um, you could have a family with this person. You could be in a relationship with them. You could share a home with them. Yeah, I feel like you want out of this marriage. I feel like you want out um, of this relationship. But even though you may want out of this marriage and or relationship, it's like... You feel like it can't go anywhere. You know what I mean? That's the thing. It's like you feel like you can't go anywhere. You feel trapped in this marriage. You feel trapped in this relationship. But that's my thing is that I feel like you can see the way out of this. I just feel like you're too scared because, you know, okay, if I do walk out the door, like, what is my life going to look like? Like, is it going to be better than this or is it going to be worse than this? Like... I also kind of feel like the reason why it is kind of scary, I would say, for you to actually like walk out the door has a lot to do with the fact that you only know them and your life with them. You don't know a life outside of them. You only know them and, and the life that you've been able to build with them thus far. So to actually leave everything that you've ever known, yeah, that's like that's like the hardest thing to do. That is the hardest freaking thing to do. That is the hardest thing to do. I also kind of feel like, you know, you are kind of worried that if you, you know, do leave them, are you going to be okay financially speaking? Will you be able to honestly, like, support yourself and the children that you have with them? Um, you know, things of that nature. So there, there's a possibility that you guys could very well share finances with one another. That's, you know, um, that's a possibility. Yeah, it's not hard. I mean, not that it's not hard. It's not easy is what I meant to say. It's, it's not easy. It's not easy. It's not as simple as getting up and just walking out the door and calling it a day. It's not that simple. It's not that easy. It's very, very hard. Um, how does this person currently view this relationship? So we have the uh, Temperance card, we have the Eight of Swords, and then we also have the um, Three of Wands out here. This person does feel, um, you know, very trapped within their relationship um, 
with you as well. I just don't feel like they put too much thought into like them feeling, um, you know, trapped, right? Um, to in you know in this marriage or this relationship, like I just don't feel like they put too much mind into like or thought I should say into like. You know how this relationship at times makes them feel it does make them feel very trapped it does make them feel very confined it does make them feel very restricted it does make them at times feel very very unhappy and also very very depressed which I'm pretty sure we can say the same about you but with the temperance card um to the three of wands coming out here um this person doesn't have any sort of intentions of of leaving you um so you know, keep that in mind. Um, I don't know if you're waiting for them to pull the plug on this entire situation or what you're doing, Leo, but they're not going to pull the plug on this relationship, which is kind of making me feel like you're dealing with a king more than likely because I've noticed, like, you know, through the years of me doing, you know, throughout the years, I'm sorry, of me doing tarot, it's very rare for me to see a king bring, like, a marriage or relationship to an end. It's always, like, a queen doing it. It's just something that I've noticed over time, but I'm not, you know, talking about the gender, right? And, you know, I'm just talking about the energy, all right? Um, so yeah, you're more than likely dealing with a king, but no, they, they, you know, they're not 100% happy or content within their relationship with you either. And yeah, they feel very, you know, trapped, confined and restricted within this relationship that they share with you as well. But do they have any sort of intentions of going anywhere? No. Um, do they think that, you know, their relationship with you is just God awful to the point where it's unbearable? Um, no. You look at this relationship as something that's just freaking god awful and like unbearable. Them, on the other hand, it's like they feel bound to you, they feel trapped with you, they feel stuck with you. But, like, as far as like, God, Lee, like, oh my god, I can't, Jesus Christ, like, I gotta go, I can't, I, ugh, you know, I just can't do this anymore. Like, this is just god awful. Like, no, I'm not getting that off of them whatsoever. Um, how does this person currently feel? We have the Eight of Wands, we got the Hangman, and then we also have the um, Two of Cups. You know, I feel like this person, like, tries to, like, um, keep a, po a positive mindset, I would say. Like, when it comes down to you and the marriage that they share with you or, like, the relationship that they share with you, like, sure, it does make them feel very confined and very restricted and unhappy at times. But, you know, I feel like they're trying to look at the brighter side of the whole entire situation. Like, you know what, at least, like... I got somebody by my side who loves me. At least I got somebody by my side who cares about me. Um, you know, at least I got somebody here. Um, at least I got somebody here who's who's there for me. You know what I mean? Who has my back, you know? So I feel like, you know, yeah, is it is it is the relationship a little bit, like, too much at times as, feeling, as far as, like, it feeling very, like, um com confining and like restricting for them um at times yes like but as far as like them like falling into this energy of like yo i gotta go i can't do this anymore this is like too much for me um no mm -mm. how does leo feel we have the moon, we have the page of swords, we got the five of cups. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the uh, three of cups, the knight of wands, the queen of swords, to the ten of pentacles. You know, I just kind of feel like you, like, look at other people's marriages and relationships and you see how happy they are and um, how much they enjoy each other's company and how, like, they're so obsessed in love with one another. And then here you are not even experiencing that with your partner. It's like you look at other people's marriages and relationships and you think to yourself, like, damn, like, I wish I had that. You know what I mean? Um, I just I, I just kind of feel like um, I just kind of feels. Yeah, I just kind of feel Leo like um, you feel like you're, you're you're stuck in a marriage or like a relationship that brings you nothing but stress that brings you nothing but pain and, and, and disappointment um so it is hard you know what i mean for you to like see all these other people you know and, and their marriages and their relationships you know what i mean thriving and yours is like freaking crumbling apart and, and just you know affecting you in the worst way you know it's hard it, it's very very hard it's very very hard for you to sit here and witness you know a successful marriage or relationship and then you look at your owns and you're just like what the fuck like 
I don't deserve this. You know what I mean? Like, I should be happy too. I should be experiencing that too. Um, okay. What actions will Leo take towards this person or moving forward? Okay. We have the Seven of Wands. We got the Nine of Pentacles. And then we also have the... Uh, Ten of Cups. You know, the first thing that came to my mind when I saw this come out to you is play your cards right. Play your cards right. Play your cards right. Okay. In other words, I don't know why I feel the need to tell you this, but I'm just going to tell you because it came to my mind. Um, it's pretty evident to me that you want out of this marriage slash relationship that you got going on here with this person. But right now you're not in a position to walk away just yet. Um, so this could basically imply that, you know, you need to kind of get your, your finances in order before you officially up and leave them. But it, it's really important. Um, yeah, it's really important, Leo, that it's really important that you play your cards right. In other words, don't let this person think or suspect that you're planning on leaving them. Don't let this person think or suspect that. Don't let them think or suspect that. Like, continue to do what you've been doing in this marriage. Continue to do what you've been doing in this relationship. Um, don't stop doing those things because if you do stop doing those things, um, I feel like it's going to raise like a massive red flag here um, for this person. I don't know, dude. It's like it's very like crucial that you play your cards right. Like, get your money in order. You know, get get yourself to that point where you feel financially secure okay um get yourself to that point all right but it's again it's very crucial that you keep doing what you've been doing in this marriage or this relationship you know what i mean like and whatever that might entail like keep doing what you've been doing like keep the routine the same keep doing the same stuff that you've been doing in this marriage or this relationship but Make it also a priority to get your money in order. Make it a priority to get yourself to this point within this marriage and or relationship where you find yourself feeling 100%, you know, secure financially speaking. So that way you could get up and pull the plug. You know what I mean? Um, on this relationship, but play your cards right. Like don't, don't let this one over here suspect or even think that you're trying to like, you know, Get your finances in order. Put some money to the side or whatever. Um, don't let them think that. Do not let this person think that you're putting money to the side um, and that you're, you know, busting your behind, right? To like, you know, get your finances in order. Because if you do that, if you do that, they're going to think that you're about to leave them. You're about to leave them. Um, and they might try to stop you in some way, shape, or form. Um, you know, from saving money and getting your money in order to leave them. What actions? Jesus. Let me grab the Queen of Cups. Hold on. All right, Queen of Cups. <sighs> oh, okay. Uh, we have the Queen of Cups, Two of Pentacles, Five of Swords, and then we also have the uh, High Priestess. What are you doing here that's like raising like a massive red flag here for this person? What are you doing? For those of you who are thinking, I guess, about like, I don't know, like getting a second job because that that, that could be what you're doing. Um, you're, you're probably, you know, deciding to get like a second job. Like if you are deciding to get a second job, that might raise a massive red flag for them and they might question you like, why, like, why are you, why are you getting a second job? I, I, I don't understand, like, what the hell's going on? You know what I mean? Um, I don't know what excuse you're going to give them. You know, for some of you, you might feel like, yo, I have no choice. I have to get another job. Like, because if I want to leave, like, I've got to get another job. i got to get another job. i got to get another job. So that way I could be able to, like, support myself financially speaking, right? So it's like, for some of you, you might have no other choice but to get another job, right? Um, but if you are planning on getting another job, 
this person, you know, this person's going to start to think something's up. They're going to start to feel like something's up. They're going to start to feel like you're keeping something from them. Um, I don't know. You all have to come up with something. I don't know. You're going to have to come up with something to say to this one over here. Um, I don't know what you're going to say. To be honest, I don't know. Come up with a lie. Say that you're saving, um, I don't know, say that you're saving to like, I don't know, buy yourself another car or something. I don't know. Like, um, you better come up with something. You better come up with something um, because I'm telling you right now that if this person starts to suspect that you're getting another job because you're trying to leave them they're gonna try to stop you how i don't know they're gonna try to stop you though they're gonna try to stop you they're gonna try to stop you um they're gonna try to stop you so that's why i was like yo like play your cards right you know what i mean like keep showing up in this marriage or this relationship the way you've been showing you know, I get it. You can't stand this person and ugh, you just want to leave already. I get that. But like, play your cards right. Do what you got to do. You know what I mean? Keep showing up in this marriage the way that you've been showing up in this marriage. Keep showing up in this relationship the way you've been showing up in this relationship. But do what you got to do to get your money right. Do what you got to do to like, reach this point of feeling 100% like, yeah, 100% satisfied but content with where you're at financially speaking. So that way you can leave, okay? Just just, just play your cards right, okay? In the meantime, um, just, just play your cards right, okay? All right, so that's what I have for you. Hopefully the reading helped. Hopefully it resonated, and I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.